Hey, what is going on YouTubers? Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today returning with another motorized bike that I built about a week ago. And let me tell you guys, this is one of the most insane builds ever. And it is not just because of the looks. It has to do here with the motor. This is what they called a GT90 Case Reed motor. And it was built by Seta Motorsports. Although they don't have the best reputation out there. At least this motor came as described i didn't get the carburetor as described i was supposed to get what they call the mikuni 22 millimeter carburetor but i got the oco 21 millimeter carburetor and uh, i went ahead and customized a whole bunch of things the stickers were done by me of course and i went ahead and painted here the velocity stack as well just so that it matches with the rest of the bike including here the gas tank cap this was all uh, spray painted the tires came blue I ordered them from eBay all the links will be provided below but if you guys are into the hobby you know exactly where to find all these parts I'll be doing a little ride here soon uh, with the action camera and Maya is going to be recording me as well so let me just give you a little tour here around the bike here we have the CNC handles uh, these clip on to the fork as you guys can appreciate I showed you this on my previous build which was the black and red bicycle here I have the Yumi DG F1 uh, phone. I am testing it currently here. Um, at least the GPS with this uh, speedometer application and it's working great so far. We got the thumb throttle again. Here we have the clutch handle. I got the lights from Amazon just like on the previous bike. Here we have the dual line um, brake handle again. And um, here we have the fork. The fork was ordered from Amazon. Here we had the disc brakes on the front side and now we also have disc brakes here on the rear side of the bike with the caliper and this is all working as intended guys here we have that 415h chain and this bracket was ordered from ebay it's from a russian guy very nice gentleman it is a one-piece bracket and it is designed so that you can hook up the uh, disc for the rear brakes and I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there, but again, it is a very nice, well-built and balanced sprocket. I would recommend it if you guys are trying to go above 40 miles per hour. Uh, this one currently is doing about 43, and I'm still in the braking period. I got this RM80 pipe. It came from a Suzuki bicycle, and uh, thanks to a gentleman, his name is Steve Lewins. He went ahead and customized it so that it fits here, the cylinder of the bike and uh, the pipe alone adds like another horsepower to this motor and uh, this being a case read I don't know if you guys know this but the clutch is a little bit different I had to do this little bracket because it is missing the piece that goes in here where you connect the cable for the clutch so again you guys can go ahead and copy and paste what I did here in case you buy this motor it is 100% recommended guys it is not the fastest motor in the market but this thing if you guys are not looking to you know to do really really fast like above 50 miles per hour then this is recommended it has a whole bunch of torque so i may uh, reduce the sprocket from a 35t to a 32t and that should give me more top end speed so again here we have the bike really cool guys tons of fun i plan to go to the track here there's a track in florida somewhere i'm not sure if it's in fort lauderdale or miami but they do a whole bunch of competition there these things have been around for quite a while now but again it is a really cool hobby i built this thing from scratch everything is well aligned i also had to put some spacers here on the back tire so now guys it is time to go for a little ride my is going to record me and i'll be right back
go. So this is what she sounds like from a distance. It is a little bit loud. It almost sounds like a dirt bike. Let me rev it a little bit. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, stay tuned for more. I come in with a whole bunch of cell phone reviews and electronics, just what you guys like, but I couldn't resist to share this little hobby that I got into, which is very entertaining, at least for me. Again, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on my next one.